outside, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna have to make you a cat door, aren't I? Yep. Over on this door. Right here. Is this the door? This one. Right there. Okay, Figaro. You got it. Time to make a cat door. So here's my uh, my new used door. I've got a hole marked out here where I'm going to put the cat door. It measures about uh, about nine and a half by eight inches high, which is plenty big for a cat to get through. I don't want to make it too big because I don't want my chickens that are in my backyard to come in. So uh, let's cut this hole out now with a jigsaw. Here's a little trick that you can do to get started through a piece of wood with a jigsaw without having to drill a hole first for the saw. If you just hold it at an angle like this and tilt into it, you'll see how this works. Well, here's the cut hole, and as you can see, because it's a hollow core door, this creates a little bit of a problem on, you know, what to anchor stuff to. This is not the best door to do this with, but it's cheap. It was cheap enough, you know, $12 for a used door at Habitat for Humanity. So now I need to reinforce around the edges here with some wood before I can go ahead and put these pieces in. We got chickens. I just realized I've got this piece left over that I cut off the bottom of the door. And if I uh, get rid of this little piece of laminate right here uh, with a chisel or something, just pry it off, this is the perfect width to piece in right in there. So uh, I'm going to set about doing that now. Well, I've got a piece cut here that I can fit right in there. I'm going to put some glue in and uh, glue the sucker in place. And put it in, uh, hold it in place with some little nails. We've got some tiny brads here. Nice gooey glue, just wood glue. We've got our ice. X this out, hammer this in place. It's only going to take a couple of little nails, because 90% of what's going to hold it will be the glue. The nails are pretty much there just to keep everything in place while the glue dries. Woo! It's getting dark out here. got to hurry up. So i got uh, two more pieces to put in here. These I'm just going to kind of glue in and wedge in. I cut them so that they will do just that. They will just barely fit in here. Where's my hammer? All framed out, ready to hang the door. Got wood in there, got some wood in there, we got wood on either side, and uh, let's get this door hung up. The task now is to take the old door off. First I'm going to pull off the, uh, the latch. This doesn't take much, just a couple of screws on the inside. out of this part, the bolt, and that's out. There we go. Now we're just going to undo it at the hinges. I'm going to leave one screw up at the top because I don't want the door to fall off. 
until I'm ready. Pull all the other screws out. And if I'm really lucky, I mean really, really lucky, then the, uh, the hinge holes that are already on this door will match right up and this thing will hang and close just fine. If not, then I'll have to do a little modifying. We're going to find that out in just a minute here. Get this door set aside. Whoa, this is a heavy solid core door. Ugh. Okay. Let's see what we've got. far so good. Same kind of hinges, they match up. I'm just going to put one screw in each hinge for now. Right in the middle of this hole. Be careful not to strip anything out. can come in and uh, I don't know I guess potentially a squirrel could come in I doubt that would happen with the dogs and the cats around but also cold air in the winter time creates a draft so we want to make a flap in here like most pet doors have I've got a piece of uh, acrylic here that I've used on other projects and kind of broke but anyway I'll measure this out score this with uh, a scoring tool and then break it and uh, put it in here of acrylic fits in there nicely a little room for the hinge and now what I'm going to use for that is a piece of piano hinge it's called or you know, maybe some other name but just a long piece of hinge that I can cut to size uh, so I'll measure measure that just by simply holding it up there marking it with a pen I'll make it a little narrower than it needs to be. I'll just cut it off at the first available joint, which will be right about there. So we'll separate it right where that mark is. And I'll show you. See where the cut is going to be right on a section where there's a joint. And you can uh, do that with just a pair of in chairs. Cut from one side. The other side, and then in the middle there's just a piece of wire. You'll probably cut through that with the tin shears too, if we're careful. 
So that's it. There you go. One tailor fit piece of hinge. Now we'll mount that up in there and the door can just flap back and forth on it. Before I mount the hinge up in there, I need to mount it to my acrylic. So to do that, I'm going to use some of these little bolts. They're just uh, 832, that's number 8 diameter, 32 threads per inch by 3 eighths of an inch. Small bolts and nuts. So I'll mark where this needs to go and uh, get my holes drilled. side and the screw on the acrylic side. I have a lot of my tools still uh, packed away from the move here. I'll get those unpacked this week, but I'll just use a crescent wrench and a screwdriver here. Just get them nice and snug. There we go. All ready to mount into the door. Okay, it's a flapping door. Goes that far that way, that far that way. Should be okay for kitty cats. Now we need something to make it stay at the bottom so the wind doesn't blow it. So I thought maybe I would stick a little magnet on here and a piece of metal down at the bottom. And the magnet I salvaged from one of those little uh, These things you can buy to hold a cabinet closed. And it's got the little thing that you stick on to one part and there's a magnet and all that stuff. And get rid of all these parts and we're ended up with a magnet with a hole in it. Right there, can you see me? I decided to mount the magnet over here to the side, that way it's out of the way of the cats when they go through it doesn't rub on their back. So I've already mounted the little metal plate right here and I've marked where my magnet's going to go. So let's put a piece of wood up here to the back of this up and drill a hole. center right there by the you know, the window blow on it a little bit maybe but it keeps it somewhat centered keep it come on Out there, it works. So that about concludes this week's hack. Till next time.
when hopefully I have the workbench set up. Keep on hacking.